Hey everyone, it's Hayden here from Top Dog. Thank you for all of your feedback on our last couple of videos on nonverbal reasoning. Today, we're back again to look at some verbal reasoning. Let's jump straight into a question. Now, the rules of this are as follows. There is a four letter word hidden somewhere in between the words of this sentence. Now, logic tells me that there can only be three ways this can happen. It can be three letters from the first word and one from the second, two and two, and one and three. So let's work systematically, which means to work in a system or logically through the problem and start with a three and one. That gives me the word thes. It's not a word. Two and two gives me hisa, not a word. And then I've got esat. So straight away, I can eradicate a. Now, if I was in the test, I'd be doing this a lot quicker in my head, but using my fingers as well, because it can be helpful. Moving on to the next one. If I have three and two, it gives me the word item. I know that's a word for sure. I'm going to circle my answer and I'm going to move on to save me some time. Going straight into the second question, let's have a go again using the same logic. I'm going to get straight in and I'm going to start here. Thek, hecky, and esit. They are not words. I'm going to move on. I'm bearing in mind that sometimes the sounds can change as well. Now looking here, I've got itir, I've got tire, which is in fact a word. Now at first I didn't notice this because I'm thinking words that end in a Y aren't going to be good for the middle of a word, but that actually there is a nice little trick. Tire is my word. I'm going to circle it. I'm ready to move on. I do have one more question here for you to have a go at, but I'm not going to reveal it just yet because I want you to have a go at home. However, an added challenge. We're going to put a 15 second timer on this video and I want to see if you can do it in less than 15 seconds. If you can, leave us a comment down below of how quick you solved it and what the answer is. Can you find the missing word? Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it useful to work systematically through a verbal reasoning type of problem. We look forward to seeing you in our future videos.